three, two, one. And ignition and liftoff of Ares 1X. Testing concepts for the future of new rocket design. Ares 1, set to be the next rocket to blast Americans into space after the shuttle fleet was retired. We passed Mach 1. But Ares had a problem. This was a near showstopper for us. A problem that may have set American manned spaceflight back years. The actual vehicle would expand and contract. It was at a frequency, in this case 11 hertz, which the human body is highly sensitive to. You can actually get where the eyeballs would uh, separate from the retina. These dangerous, potentially deadly vibrations are called thrust oscillation. If we could not solve this technical issue, we did not have a viable vehicle to fly humans on. Using a small device placed in liquid, in this case, the rocket's propellants, NASA was able to control the vibrations. Engineers immediately realized the potential. The places where it naturally falls into is building mitigation for natural one. We already got it here where we can show we can mitigate a building already. Engineers outfitted the 40-story Saturn V test building at Marshall Space Flight Center with weights and started shaking. <music> Using their device, and a tube filled with 14,000 pounds of water, they reduced the sway of a four and a half million pound building. They have almost an order magnitude more effective than what's currently being done on buildings out there right now. We brought some, uh, some building guys in here, and this is a potential game changer for them. We can go target the frequency of what's exciting the building at that day, at that time be it an earthquake, be it the vortex shedding. This technology has other potential benefits too. There's a lot of systems that this will now apply to. Be it your automobile, be it your aircraft, be it your helicopters, be it your, your ocean-going vessels. People looking at now on the, on the green energy side is the, the tidal type creation of energy. It's way beyond just launch vehicles. Like memory foam and artificial limbs, this is just the latest in a long line of discoveries NASA's made to solve a problem in space that's landed right here on Earth. I'm meteorologist Jim Cantori.